working on an old ship in the 1800s here. We call it the ghost ship. I'm cleaning off all the dust. And then I'm going to do a painting of it for, my, for a client. I believe I'm going to do a night scene, as I call it, the ghost ship. So I'm just going over it, getting off a little bit of dust. It's distilled water. The initial cleaning of it. This is from the 1800s. It's very old. And that's leather there. See that? Fantasy art. Mark G. Wardrop. Please like and subscribe. And uh, any questions, just ask. I don't know if he wants this painted, the actual ship painted, but I'm just cleaning it for them for now. Using a Q-tip here, just carefully removing all this garbage. Built up dust from years. Just years of it sitting. I think it was in a box, but I'm not sure. Now this rope is very uh, delicate. You see there's one broke here, and he found spools where he bought the ship, so I'm going to be trying to reattach that. A little bit of rope. And the ghost ship here. You see just how dusty it is. It is very dusty. So I'm cleaning it up. I will be doing a painting of this in oils on canvas. And the client wants it to be 20 by 30 inches. And I'm going to try to look up some angles to make it like, you know, look really good so it's like 3D, not flat. I don't want the sea being flat looking, you know. That's what a friend suggested, and I agree with them. Uh, Fantasy Art by Mark G. Wardrop. Like and subscribe, and I uh, hope you like it. Working on the old ghost ship here. Basically cleaning her up. very carefully taking these layers of dust, years of dust off. And they want to have a nice uh, plexiglass case built for this as well. So we got some uh, plexiglass there ready to go. Still got the blue cover, a protective cover on it. It's been cut. I'm going to construct a case for it here at Fantasy Art by Mark G. Wardrop. The machinist is going to do that. He's very good at that. And uh, that's what he does. I'm do I do the art and stuff and illustration and restoration on things. I've done guitars and uh, broken necks on guitars before I repaired them. Couldn't tell. Um, I've done a few ships. There's another ship on here. One of the first videos I put on. Uh, it's more colorful than this. It's not as ornate and it's not as old. I used to play on these kind of ships when I was a kid. Well, the one I played on was an Erie PA called the Brig Niagara. Now they do rides on it, I believe. They fully restored it, but... I kind of fell in love with these ships because of that, I guess. And uh, I'm just cleaning it here. That's what I 
do I try to make it look great again I can paint it if they want me to do that but I will only do what they say right now they want it clean so taking off the layers of the ghost ship just very carefully going over it bit by bit I sold one of these that the guy made in prison out of matchsticks up in a pigeon forge. Uh, had his prison number and everything. He had the time to do it, and it was slightly bigger than this. And it was very nice. It was very well made. And I acquired that and I did it up, did the rope on it. And I'm just cleaning this one for now. It's not in bad shape, it's seen worse, and it's still pretty close together, so that's good. Any questions, just ask in the comments. This is an old pirate ship from the 1800s right here. We call it the ghost ship. He calls it the ghost ship, and I agree. No, I think it's really neat. But thanks for watching, and like and subscribe. Fantasy Art by Mark G. Wardrop. Thanks.